the entire day that I was down there working, I could hear somebody just pacing back and forth up and down this hallway like, you know, you hurry up and get out of here. You're bothering me. But my dog, when I bring her up here, she comes, makes a beeline right up those stairs. You should get right here and stand there and look in that closet. All fur on her back just bristles up and she stands there and just growls. You guys touching my leg? Seriously? Yeah, like really gently. Tip of my ass to like down here. Someone just caressed me. Just knowing the fact what Carl like used to do to women, it adds a whole other, a whole other level to this place. No, but someone keeps touching me. Really? Yes. What? Something just touched me on my back, like on my shoulder. Carl, are you here? Are any of you guys touching my feet right now? Someone's touching my feet right now. Oh my god, what the hell was that? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Dried up all the rain. Nick sets up an experiment in here. And from about the center of this window to about the center of that window. He had these two posts that were about that high. They were like one inch square steel. And they were welded to an eight inch piece of flat metal. No way they're going to fall over. He had a real thin copper wire, ran from one to the other, and then it went downstairs. He ran all the way downstairs to his rim pod. So we were downstairs sitting down and talking, and all of a sudden we just heard this thud. And they're like, what was that? I said, I don't know what it was. Whatever it was, was upstairs. So we came up, and the one over there was actually laying down this way on the floor. And that's the one where, if you watch that, that video, the copper wire starts to twirl. I mean, I come up here and I, just, I, I work up here a lot by myself in the evenings and stuff after work. And I was up here one Saturday, I was putting those, that drop around the kitchen down there, you know, this main hallway right here. And the entire day that I was down there working, I could hear somebody just pacing back and forth up and down this hallway like, you know, you hurry up and get out of here. You're bothering me and just pacing up and down. I mean, I've heard little kids laughing and talking. I'd be downstairs working and I could hear it sound like they're right up here in this, in this room. And I'll come upstairs, there's not a soul here. Well, maybe you've seen kids outside. There's not, you go out there and you can't see a soul on the street anywhere. This room here is the room that we assume belonged to the two girls. About, well, a year ago in, in March, we had a really bad storm come through and it ripped part of the roof off the house. So I had to have a new roof put on, but I don't know what's in there. Um, I personally never felt anything, but my dog, when I bring her up here, she comes, makes a beeline right up those stairs and she'll get right here and stand there and look in that closet. All the fur on her back just bristles up and she stands there and just growls. This has been now going on for three years. And she does it every single time? Oh yeah, every time I bring her up here. Oh well, the last couple of times, she had she was chasing the deer in the backyard and tore her ACL. Oh, so she had to have surgery. So right now she can't do stairs. Mm -hmm. But if I bring her up here, she'll stand in it, down there at the bottom of the stairs and just whine. She wants to come up here. Aww. But I mean, she's not a she's not a dog that growls or barks at anybody. And just you know, the the night that the, she first did that, it kind of scared me a little bit because I thought, what in the world's going on in that closet? And she just would not leave it and, and I've had people tell me that when they walk in that closet they feel an evil presence. It's focusing on a person standing right in the closet. Whoa! See that? 
That's gone. Of all three of the bedrooms, this has the most activity. And it's little children activity. The very first night that they were here, when Mike Brings group was here, they had a boo bear set up up here. Mm -hmm. And um, we were all sitting in the room after we come up from the basement, half froze to death, and we were sitting down there warming up. And <clears throat> you could hear the boo bear talking. And he had motion sensors set up here, and he had a, a beam across this doorway. And just all of a sudden, the motion sensor started going off. The camera down there for that was on this, I think he had it set up over there and it was kind of facing this way. The camera all of a sudden, it, it went to detecting motion. It came up with a red M on it that said motion. That all happened just instantaneously, simultaneously. And you heard this little kid just hysterically laughing. And then you heard like little kid running. And it's, it's here and then like down that hallway and just laughing like crazy. Then we also have Hazel. And Hazel's an eight year old girl. Do you have a music box by any chance? I do, yeah. Tat girls that were here from Akron. They, uh, I had a crowbar hanging here Saturday. Nobody's been in this house. It was Saturday. hanging up right here? It was just hanging. Oh. And it's not here now. Is it a crowbar? A crowbar, a big one. Yeah. About that long. What the f Well, keep an eye on it. Because I have been it. using it in here because when I put that, trying to jack that wall around, and when I got done with it, I just hung it right here and it's been hanging here. Oh my god. I don't see it. You put the, the music box in here. And Hazel would, was, was infatuated with the music box and she would turn it on and turn it off at her command. That's cool. Not really. A whole lot uh, goes on in this room other than one night I came up here. This was a year before last and it was in January and it was extremely cold that night. And I had a group up here and I'm, I'm walking down through here and just, you know, I'm just, I'm just, be bobbing out talking and I just walked in like this we started to flip the light on and as soon as I stepped in this woman she yelled at me to stop so I did I turned around I said what and she said get out of that room why she says there's nothing but pure evil in there get out of that room so as I started to back up I looked up and both of those windows were just crawling with flies there had to be at least a million flies in each one of those windows just this you could not see out the windows. And if you look, I never did wash the windows since that night. Look at all this on those windows. That's all from all those flies that night. And they all just left all of a sudden? I don't know how they got here because like I said, it was like it was below zero yeah. that night. The next day on Saturday usually the next day I stop in and I make sure that all the trash is picked up and you know blah blah blah. And I thought, well, I'm going to have to go up there and clean up a bunch of dead flies or something. I came up here, there wasn't a fly anywhere. No dead ones, no live ones, nothing. I don't know where they came from, and I don't know where they went. All three of the bedrooms are the same size. They're all 12 by 15. Um, this one had two of these big closets. When Wraith Chasers were here that night, I, uh, they, they have a big following that follows them wherever they go. And they had like 30 people came with them. So I'm giving them a tour. And we were in that middle bedroom and I said something about Rosalie and this gentleman says, well, I've already talked with her tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you know where her hiding place was? And I said, not a clue. Let me show you. Walks right in here. He says, I know it's not here now, but there was a little closet built within a closet right here in this corner. And I said, yeah, I tore that out. I said, I thought maybe it was a place where they kept a safe. Yeah. Being a business, you know. He said, no, that was her hiding spot. Hmm. Now, how would he know that, yeah. that that was there? No, that's not a reflection. What is that? Yeah. There is two figures oh. there. There's a tall figure and a short figure. And the short figure's yeah. got a red shirt, red coat. See those right there? That's the hands of the taller figure resting on the shorter 
figure's shoulders. Hmm. So I send that to Austin. He puts it in his computer and runs it through some, some uh, filters and he calls me and he says, man, he said, I don't know what the hell that is. He said, it doesn't actually look human. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. even just but he said, you are yeah. missing the big picture. I said, what big picture? He said, go to the extreme left-hand window, which is this window here, and look at the picture. They sent it at the hat. Hmm? The hat. Someone's standing right there. Kind of looks like a... Two people. Mm. There's a, like a, an yep, old there's hat right there. a guy right with a hat. I see an outline of a woman right there. Actually, let's see, which side am I on? There's a guy over here, and he's wearing a Civil War uniform. There's another man right here. See him with a beard? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You see the lady sitting here in the rocking chair? There's her face. She has oh my on... Oh, gosh, yeah. She has on an old-fashioned bonnet. She's wearing a shawl on her shoulders. Mm -hmm. She's got a baby in her lap right there. She's holding the baby. Mm -hmm. I see that. And there's two little kids sitting down front. Now... I told you I was the world's biggest procrastinator. Mm -hmm. The time that was taken, in this window, there was a nine foot tall, fully decorated Christmas tree. The tree is not in the picture. I mean, you could not see from outside to inside because of that tree, but that tree is not in the picture. And that is that rocking chair. So that must be Allison that you got that picture. I don't know. Um, I've looked at some of the old records, that it's some of the old plaques that they have in town, of town. They've got a bunch of the old plaques. Can't find anything. But the earliest plot that they have is 1890. I have this weird feeling. I don't know what it is, but something here You've said this multiple times, Angelo felt it too. We all came to an agreement that something here is freaking dangerous. I'm never nervous about going into a place or a certain part of a place. Sometimes it happens like, you know, in the moment. But you're usually calm. Yeah, like, like I don't, I don't, I genuinely feel like anxious and nervous about going down there. If we know people are already getting attacked in here, I feel like something's like really, really bad. Like I've been yeah. attacked before, but I feel like something here is genuinely going to go incredibly, horribly, very, very, very gone wrong. Like we hit spots that are not as, they don't feel like this, if I should just say that. It's just, this spot is different. I don't know how to deal with this sort of energy. I've actually never felt this energy before. So we're all in for a treat together. <laughs> Yeah, there's more here. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Something's weird about this place. Yeah, the flashlight's on. Is it? Yeah. Did that thing just say flashlight? That's what a priest it said. Both of those, like words, or yeah. is someone here religious? That was creepy as hell. Where in the house are you? We want to talk to you, Carl. We want to know why you're such an asshole. And why you hate women so much. Yeah. Connor. I 
they said not to provoke things, but this is different. Sure. Yeah, kind of. This like guy that. was clearly a sicko. <laughs> Radio. What's gonna happen if we stay down here? Or if someone decides to be by themselves again down here? It just said beside adjust. Who are you beside? Shadows. Hey. I mean, they've been showing themselves to me in shadows a lot tonight. Help. Muscle. Muscle. Okay. Copy. If there's any spirit down here, can you make a noise? 87 years. Try. Are you going to try? Is that what you mean? Yes. Play. I'm a good person. Okay, so why don't you tell us your name? What if that's Carl? She's not to a good person. It said Anna. 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 Anna, did you have your service here? Compete. All right. Somebody here with us? Yes or no? What? Goodbye. No goodbye. Where are you yeah. going? Zero. Are you going to do something bad to us tonight if we, uh... You. Just say you. Four. Five. Four, five. Six. Eight. What is that? Oh, that's that's Relative. Is there a man down here with us right now? Him. Yes, flashlight. Yes. Oh, it said M. Yep. I thought it said him. I was going to say there's no way it, it could even use. Uh, yep. It said M again. Sounds like it's saying him, though. It does sound like it. D. Does the first letter of your name start with M? Was it in there? It sounded like it came from in there. What's in this crawl space? This one's so quiet. We heard a lot of stories. Show us a sign that you're here. Like you did earlier, please. You can even do something like this. Astral. Astral? Projection? Um. Why do you attack dare. people down here? I dare you to make a noise. Wow. That was in the cellar. Are you in the cellar? Dude, that light just turned no. on. Full blast. If you're in the cellar, turn that flashlight off. Blasting. It's okay. Turn it right off if you're in the cellar. Further? Walk further. Oh. Walk further where? Towards the cellar? Rhythm. Who do you want to walk further? Love. Girl or boy? Love. I feel really weird down here. I know. I feel you completely are. unbalanced. What? That's kind of scaring me because I've never heard you say that before. Mm -hmm. I've never really... Unbalanced? No, like I've never heard, like, like seeing you, like, getting kind of, like, shook about you know? Yeah, like, dude, this is Where? not normal. I don't know what the deal is down here, but... Clouded. Clouded. If you're in that cellar, make another noise. Area. If you make a noise, I'll go in there. Developed. Quarantines. Why does it keep seeing quarantines? I don't know. Class. Rival. I dare you to make noise. Kettle. 
Nanny. Green. I feel like frozen. Green. Like, I, like paralyzed. Hi. What are you picking up? I just really don't feel safe. Like at all. I just don't feel safe. I feel like I'm just off. Yeah. Like really off. Like I'm just like swinging yeah. to the left for some reason. North Dakota. North Dakota. Come on, Carl, where are you at? Give us a sign, please. Where the evil one you have to call yourself at some point. Where are you? Did that just say incubus? Yeah. Oh. As I said, the evil one it says incubus. That's like a demon word, right? right? Incubus? Incubus is like someone who comes in your sleep or something. Oh, that's fun. It's also a band. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Please give us a sign. Knock on something or move something, please. Come on. If you are one of the people that had service here, Touch that thing with the red light. Kentucky. Yeah, we're not far from Kentucky. You saw me. What? Bible. Who are you referring to? Shot. You saw me. Thirty-six years. I keep saying that. Oh. I don't think. Oh, that might have been me. Yeah, it was just me moving my hand over. Aldous. Light. It's an old name. Aldous Snow? Aldous, are you connected to the house? Aldous. Saturday. <laughs> Aldous Snow. Run. Get him to the Greek. <laughs> Nancy. Fly. What do you want from us? Be afraid. Whoa. Hello. Hello. Is light doing that? Yeah. So Mike said, well, what's down here doesn't like females. Mm-hmm. Do you Mom. want to hurt one of us? Milk. Do you want to Busy. milk one of us? Flame. You can milk Angelo. <laughs> you can milk me all you want, I guess. Right. Do you not want me down here? Do you want me to leave? Informed. If you want me to leave, you need to make a noise. Rough. Fresh. Crash? That's a weird road. One. This is the second time no. I said that road. Ashes. That's my mom's name. Second time is hard. Yeah. However, in the corner. Yeah. 30. Which is where the bombing cable was. You're right. Yeah, that's correct. Well, it was around this area. We are watching you. Oh, that's super creepy. Where are you? Where are you watching us from? Man. In crawl space. He stays in there. Demon. Oh, wow. <laughs> Demon. As we're talking Trump. about the crawl space. But why is it like there in the first Wait. place? That's what doesn't make sense. What did you use to hide in the crawl space? No. That. Something that's like hidden in there that made it. Yeah. Monarch, you know? Yeah. I'm almost yeah. convinced that someone summoned something in here. Or like did something. I mean, keep in mind too, like we are in a funeral funeral home mm -hmm. where so many bodies come in and out of this place. So many good people back. Graveyard hide secrets. Sure they do. They that they do, yeah. Hello. Hello. It's kind of fitting. Yeah. Figure. Figure. Whoa. Jesus, bro. I don't know if there's something 
arrows are just hitting the door. Something just in front of me. Is that what he meant? What? Yeah. I heard like something tap. My childhood. The next touching my leg. Seriously? Yeah. Like really gently. Like going like this. Like what? Like caressing you. Like just like sliding her hand down you? Like right, like tip of my ass to like down here. Someone just caressed me. Okay. Who is yeah. this? Point the light that way, like right in the cross face. You like the cup. I think so. Tight, tight. But I don't know if it, it could have just been like the reflection of like the, the shadow. Maybe. Nan? Second time it said that. Come on, prove to us. Move this bucket or something. 44 years. Revolver. You okay? Yeah, I just. I'm very uneasy in here. Murder. Murder. And just, just knowing the fact what. Carl like used to do to women, you know, like he would do things to their bodies, inappropriate things, and it just it adds a whole other, a whole other level to this place. Carl, why did you do that to women? What made you feel like you had the right to do that to a woman's body? You were supposed to be there to take care of them after they pass. Watch. To care for their body. Not to violate them. Bye. I'm having fun. That's your kind of fun? That's really sick. That's sick. Why was that fun to you? Killing. Killing. I don't want to talk. Well, you don't want to talk because I'm a woman? And I'm alive yeah. and you can't do anything to my body? Crawl. Oh. Crawl? Do you want me to go back in there? Say yes if you do. You good one? No, but someone keeps touching me. Really? Yes. Foot. Something just touched me on my back, it's on my she shoulder. Said, she said foot. What's with the crawl space? Do you want me to go back in there? Because I will. If you want someone to go into the crawl space, turn it on right now, please. Jackie. Reason. Can you do it on the count of three? Four. Okay. If you want to hurt one of us, turn the flashlight off, please. Concentrate. Yes, we do have cameras. Empathy. Do you hear like talking? Mm-hmm. I do. Yeah. Laugh. It sounded like almost like it was coming out of the 
Ready. I'm gonna go back up in there. You're going back in there? Okay, we'll both stay down here though. I'll go, yeah. I'll do Estes in there if you guys. I mean, if Emergency. We don't have to do it now, but. What was that? The f I just saw this like black thing, like dirt. You just saw that behind her? You saw it too? No, I was, I'm just I saying. I saw just like this weird like thing go really quick. I don't know if it was just like a bug or something, but something moved. Come on, evil one, show yourself. We're waiting for you. It's what we came here for. You hit something, close that door, maybe move one of the chairs. We know you have the energy to do it. Maybe close the, uh, the casket. Like the floor of us. Was so that have, you? Sorry, go ahead. On. Have some more fun. Make a louder noise. We're really yeah. afraid of you. Was that like a whoo? You heard that too, right? Angela, did you hear that? I heard something. My name is Joseph. Hi, Joseph. What are you doing down here, Joseph? Yeah, that something was just touching my neck too. Really? It likes hair. Oh, that's weird. It literally just asked me to put my hair down too. It's talking to you? Yeah. It's just saying, put your hair down. Uh, you if good, I bro? put my hair down, <laughs> what are you going to do? I just saw something move again. That was not a bug. Where I saw the black thing dirt too. Carl, are you sitting on that chair again? Oh. You right, Bob? Ooh, I just got that. Mm -hmm, me too. Holy moly. He's like saying it repeatedly, repeatedly. Put your hair down, put your hair down, put your hair down, put your hair down. I don't know, I kind of, I'm getting the feeling that the more we stay down here, the more they're building up energy to do something. They will. That's they what they, they want. They were getting to some, somewhere. Well, we want you to do something. That's what we came here for. Why don't you make the cat ball on that, uh, that green chair light up again? Is that where you're sitting, Carl? Are you shy tonight? Is that a handprint on the furnace right there? Where? Snow. Where are you looking? Right here. On the side? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of them. I mean, that could be from anybody, really. Yeah, could be for sure. Doesn't like you. Oh my gosh. As I said that, I literally saw like somebody standing like down there. Alright, well. I'm not going anywhere. What are you gonna do about it? This is so stupid. I don't know why I'm doing this. Right <laughs> now. I actually don't. <laughs> I'm getting freaked out a little bit. But since it's Halloween, you know, it's getting spookier by the day. Yeah. I feel like it deserves a second <laughs> chance at least. 
Just want to clarify if there's anything in this crawl space. I do not mean any harm. If anyone's here that had service or has passed away and your body came here, I do not mean any harm. Okay? I'm going to come in here and blindfold myself and talk to you guys. Alright. Coming in here. As of right now, I cannot hear anything. Oh, oh it's dirty as hell in here. Hush. Come to this. Three children here. Who's with us right now? I swear something's touching me again. Who's touching Lamar? If you wait, it will happen. Shaking right now. Is there somebody in there with him? Left. You're Get out of here. I kid you not, I just said that. Get out of here. Just like that. Why do you want him out? This is the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. Fade. Don't do it. Don't do what? This flashlight is going absolutely bonkers. First, do you feel me? Whoa. Who is he feeling? What's he feeling? Oh, it's cold now. Hmm? It's cold now. Can you tell us your name? Joseph. Hi, Joseph. Do you know our names? Many. Twirl, K pop. What? K pop? Okay. Like BTS? Hang on. Dead. That was a moan. Yeah. Like directly behind us. Yeah. We both looked at the same time. Yeah. Did you just say hang on? I said hang okay. on. Okay. Chief. Yeah. Who's matters will die. Who's back here? Who made that moan behind us? Where do you want us to go? Come on in. Emergency. In the crawl space? You want us to go in the crawl space? Wait, it wants us to go emergency. It's like someone's blowing in on me right now. It's like air in here. What kind of emergency? What are you going to do?
Who's back in this room over here? Something over in this room. Here. A lot. Tapping from where like Carl usually is. Carl, are you here? I'm hearing it on this side. Are any of you guys touching my feet right now? Oh yeah, totally. Totally us. Yeah. <laughs> from the other side of the piece. Someone's touching my feet right now. Who's touching Lamar's yeah. foot? Tell us your name. Queer. What do you want to do to Lamar? Oh, that's creepy. It's like a ray. Boy up there. That's right. There is a boy up there. Why do you live in the crawl space? People don't understand. What don't it's they It's dangerous. What's oh my god, I just connected that together. I don't want to talk. Patriotism. Can we... I don't even know what to ask. Yo guys, I'm gonna have to... What's dangerous? Wasn't there, here. wasn't there a story about a girl whose both her parents died? Right? Yeah, one of the kids. Yeah. And it just said I'm getting back to them. Yeah. I'm in the house somewhere. Yeah, we know. Make a make a loud noise so we know exactly where you are. Somebody? Oh, I thought my camera stopped recording. Are you walking upstairs? Can't See? make out anything else. The girl's here. What? You listen. What girl? You listen? What are we listening for? Listen for her. You gotta be more specific. Who are we listening to? We're trying to message you. Message who? I don't know. Elijah. You're trying to message Elijah? People can't hear us. We're right here. You can send me a you message. Creepy, yes. I'll be able to hear you. Not what you think. The afterlife. What's oh it? Oh my god. What is it like? Believe. I'm saying this word for word right now. I'm saying believe. Believe. Right. Believe. Yeah. What is the afterlife? Afterlife like? Listen. Blank. Blank. Best thing. Are you happy? Yes. 
essential, essential. Oh, I don't feel like nice. I'm stuck. Yeah, you just got to watch over. Oh. Yeah. What? What? Better than life. What the hell was that? 26 years. What was that? There is a catch. What's the catch? Glenn. That was loud. That was. I think that his camera stopped recording. Oh, well, that could have been that noise. Yeah. The little doo doo doo. Does it stop recording after a certain time? Yeah. Not usually, no. I mean, it's only been about 14 minutes. We should probably get him out. Right. Yeah. Just realize it's been 14 yeah, minutes. Yeah, get him out, get him out. Yo, this straight up said Chelsea. What? Yeah, it straight up said your name. It said Chelsea. about to die on this camera. Early. How do you feel from that funeral home? Uninvited. <laughs> Not welcomed. Um, honestly, it was a really unique experience. It was like a really active spot. I would a thousand and ten percent go back. I think I'd want to go back with Kim just yeah. to have another female with me. But it was definitely a Carl is Carl's cool. You could definitely just feel it as a woman, just all eyes 
on you type deal. Like just watching you like a hawk. Yeah. Like a like predator style. How'd you feel, Angelo? About what? The funeral home. Uh exhausting. Yeah, on to the next spot. It's bright and early. I mean it's eleven thirty, but to me right now it feels like it's about nine. Um of course not getting any sleep, but we're moving on to the next haunted location. Catch you in the next one, guys.